Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. The drum stance, stance to the beat of the. I'm dancing to the beat of the drum. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to MacBreak Studio, and Mark's going to show us some text stuff in motion, making text dance. Yes, but maybe, maybe, maybe to the beat of the drum, maybe not to the beat of the drum. But uh, he's going to show us. He's going to make text do its thing, dance. I'm going to make uh, text animate to audio. In the more general idea is to animate text to audio. Do you think people will want it, any audio? Any audio, okay. absolutely, any audio. But you have so, a particular song in mind. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm using an example okay. of a particular song. Excellent. So, you know, we've talked about animating text. We've talked about creating animation with audio, but we haven't really put the two together. So I wanted to show how, how you can do this, because this is really cool. I really like this. So to start with, I just have a, a simple background. This is actually taken on the shuttle up yeah. to up to your house where we're, we're shooting this, uh, to your the digi the, digital the bar. Is the ceiling or something? What no, is just through the windows. It's just sort of an abstract thing. That's cool. I just, I just like it. So what I'm going to do to start, I'm going to get some text. So I'll click on the text tool here, and I'm going to click, I'm going to type dance to the beat. Escape, um, F7, maybe I'll bring up its size. And then to make this look a little more interesting, I'm going to F7 to close that. I'm going to go F1 to the inspector, then to the text inspector. Uh, I'm going to go to the layout section of the text inspector. And instead of this being a type method of layout, I'm going to choose a path. Okay, I'm going through this a little quickly, but just to show you there's different ways you can lay out text. With it set to a path, what I'm going to do is go down to these path options and change the path shape to a circle. So the text is now around a circle, okay? Not quite what I want. I want the radius to be quite a bit bigger than that. I just kind of want to be something like that. Okay. Semicircle. Yeah, a little semicircle. So I'll put it in about them and I'll use the dynamic guides to center it. So that's the way I'm lining up the text. And by the way, if you want to know what font this is, it's called Space BDBT. A uh, little font that's there. That's a nice using. font, actually. And it's kind of neat. So I've got my text, I'm not doing anything yet. I need some audio. So I'm going to go to the file browser. And I have a song here called uh, Dance, Dance to the Beat. <laughs> Dance, Dance to, the beat. to the Beat. Yeah, by a group called Hot as Sun, which is uh, actually my brother in law's sister in this band. It's a really cool band. I like this song. We'll play a little section of it here. Um, Okay, so it starts with some hand claps. We hear a drum come in. So, what I'm going to do is just take this and drag it into the layers tab. And we don't see it anywhere in the Layers tab because um, audio doesn't show up in the Layers tab. It shows up in the Audio tab. Yeah, it shows up in the Audio tab, so there it is over there. And we can also see it down here uh, in the mini timeline. So here's the cool thing we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, guy and we're going to animate it with a sequence text behavior. And we've talked about that before. That's the one ring that rules them all. That's right. right? So what we're going to do, uh, we can go to the library to behaviors to text animation, and it lives right there. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to use this little shortcut. I'm going to go down to the bottom right corner and click on the little gear there, which is for all our behaviors, and just go straight to text animation, sequence text. OK? Now, in this case, uh, sometimes I usually trim it because I usually use it to text animate text on or off the screen. So you just want it to finish its thing. But it needs to be the length of the song. Yeah, this one I want it to last right. for a while. I'm not going to play the whole song here, but I've got maybe 20 seconds. I've set my project to about 20 seconds. So right now, if we play, nothing's going to happen. We're going to hear the music play, but the text doesn't animate. So check this out. Let's go to the inspector, to the behaviors tab. And here we have the sequence text behavior. Let's close controls for a minute just so we don't need to look at that. We need to choose what to animate. And this is where it's fun because if we use this pop-up menu, we can animate all of these dis different characteristics, all these parameters of text. And you can really choose whatever you want. So um, I'm going to choose something, but just know that you can do anything you want with this. This is really fun. So I'm going to start with position, okay? Format position. So normally, you see here it gets added. It says position X and Y zero. Normally, what you would do is change one of these. For instance, you could change position. Oh, actually, I don't even want to do that. Sorry. Uh, you could do that, but I want to do something else. <laughs> I'm going to do format you could scale. Do that, you, but yeah, we're I'm going to do, do scale. Right. So if, like, if I increase scale way up, uh, then as we play through, all the letters would scale down. Okay, but not to the music. Sure. Not to the music at all. So here's the cool thing. What I'm going to do? I'm going to pop scale open. I want to leave scale at 100% by default. 
and I only want to animate the, the each letter to kind of jump up to in, in a so height. So the Y scale, yes. you want to animate yes. to the audio. And I want to animate to the, to the audio. So what I'm going to do is I'll use this little uh, downward facing arrow here and choose to add parameter behavior. Audio. Audio. Yeah, the audio parameter behavior. This is the beautiful thing that you can use to animate any parameter of anything. So let's see how it works with text. So I'll, I'll use it. I'll apply it. And you can use the heads up display. I'll hit F7 to show it. But I'm not going to do that because there's more controls available as usual in the inspector here. So it says source audio. What do you want to use? Um, and you could click on the audio tab and drag it in. But just use this pop-up menu. I'm going to choose. There it is. Dance to the beat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose that. And this little guy, this graph, lets you choose what part of the audio you want to use. So I'm going to play this a little here. Oh, I see. Yeah, now we saw how the hand claps are right in that area. Yep. So I really want to focus this animation just to animate when it, we hear the hand claps right in that area. Okay? Nice. So that's when it'll animate. Now, if I play over here, let's see what happens. Okay, so it, it's animating, but it's a little hard to figure out exactly what's going on. Yeah, it looks like some of the words are animating and Yeah, in others. fact, if we look at the beginning, you'll see it, the animation by default, it looks like the whole thing's being animated here, and it seems to kind of work through it. So this is where it gets interesting, because by default, let's go back to, let's first of all change the amount, because it's not really jumping very much. So that's what we do with the scale parameter. Okay, so I'm still in the audio parameter behavior. I'm going to make the scale maybe 10. So now um, it's much more dramatic. But I, I don't the want... The two characters aren't animating. Yeah, well, we'll get to that in just a second. So, so it's everything's animating, basically, and it's doing it to the beat. But I want to do something a little more interesting than that. So I'm going to go back to the sequence text behavior down here and open up the controls. Because right now it's sequencing from a value. I want to sequence it. I'm going to do things called through inverted. Okay, so let's look at what through inverted does. I'm just going to analyze it again because it's not quite doing what I'm expecting it to do here. So what I'm going to do is it's going forwards, it's going through inverted, which means each letter, let's just go through instead of through inverted. because so I really want each letter. There we go. So the D goes, the A starts to go, the N starts to go, and it's kind of working through, okay? But that's going to take the whole length of this behavior for each letter. Right. So here's the cool thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to loops, and I'm going to increase the number of loops. And I've actually timed this out. I know if I use nine loops, check this out. If I use nine loops, See, it did it right to the beat, right? It, yes. finished, it finished a loop by the time it got to the word beat by the hand claps there, just by, and just by experimenting. That's actually really cool. Kind of neat, right? Because it's going yeah. right, it's animating the letters to the beat, but it's also finishing the whole phrase to the beat. And that's just one example. You know, you can keep adding more. In fact, I'll just show you, I have another uh, version of it here where, um, I've added another, you can see here, in a, yeah, here. so I've added, I'm animating the scale, but also the position in Y, but the position one, check out the inspector here, I've isolated a different part of the waveform. So this is more for the, the singing part. So if we play this, it looks a little bit different. Okay, so you see all the letters kind of drop when that, when that drum first did, and they'll kind of drop down. So you can just totally have fun with this and create all kind of interesting animation, position, scale, rotation, color, you know, basically any of those parameters with text that are animatable. I'm noticing you're not having to render anything either. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, there's never any, you know, this is motion. This is motion. So yeah, any, any of these parameters, you can choose to animate in any way that you want. The slant of the, of the characters, the rotation, you can spin in 3D space. It's just, it's, it's outstanding. Fantastic. So <clears throat> is there anything else you're going to show us with that? Or? No, no, I think that's good enough All for right. now. All right, good. Yeah. Um, so you have a tutorial on like the 
complete things you could do with text. Yeah, just mastering anima text animation motion. Actually, mastering text in general, because there's a lot of things you can do in motion without even animating text that are useful. Excellent. So, yeah, an in-depth tutorial that really talks about all the different possibilities. If you really want to master everything about text in motion, uh, I try to lay that all out in one tutorial. So want to check that out on our website, Mastering Text in Motion. Uh, thanks, Mark, for showing us how to make our text dance to the beat. Uh, we will see you on the next MacBreak Studio. Thanks for watching.